Hey amazing hackers, I'm Tor Hat from HM Cyber Academy. We're gonna continue with our business logic vulnerabilities. Here you're gonna learn business logic vulnerability or you will die trying. So let's get started. So this one is infinite money logic flaw. Sounds interesting, right? So this is like you are generating money out of thin air. Okay only because there is a logic flaw okay so this lab has a logic flaw in purchasing workflow to solve the lab exploit this flaw and buy a lightweight lead leather jacket you can log into your own account using the following credentials Weiner and peter so let's access the lab okay let's log in Weiner and peter okay so we do have an email client right so we will use it when necessary okay and uh, seems like we do have some gift cards okay so we will try to buy some gift cards okay let's go to the home page if you scroll down to the bottom here you will see a sign up to our newsletter okay so here you can type anything let's sign up all right we got this sign up 30 coupon code okay so let's uh, copy this let's save it all right so what we will do now is we will buy a gift card okay so why we need to buy a gift card is if we spend ten dollars we are going to get ten dollars okay but the point is we are going to use a coupon code to get more money okay so let's buy a gift card okay so let's uh, add it to the cart let's go here and as you can see we can just apply our coupon code here okay so we are getting a ten dollar gift card at the price of seven dollar okay so let's place the order and as you can see we got our coupon code right so let's use this let's go to my account paste the gift card and redeem it and as you can see now we have 103 dollars okay so we got more money than we already had okay so we can use this logic again and again and we can generate lots of money from this okay so it is like infinite money hack what we will do now is we cannot manually do it again and again to create three dollars three dollars at a time right so we cannot do it those many times so what we will do is we need to create something called a macro okay so this macro will automatically do all the steps that we have done in the request format okay something like it will send all the requests that we decide okay let's see what we have done till now okay uh, this is our home page okay this is where we signed up to the newsletter okay and then we got our sign up coupon code okay then we went to product 2 which is a gift card okay we sent it to the cart okay so sending it sending the product to the cart okay so next one is just uh, going to the cart okay so we just uh, applied the coupon code and uh, we clicked on checkout which means placing order okay this will automatically redirect to a order confirmation request okay so once our uh, gift card has been bought so we went to the my account section and we posted our gift card okay so this is the process that we have done right we need to replicate all the steps that we have done to create three dollars at a time okay if you are using an old burp suit you will have to go through project options okay from there you will have to go through all the steps okay but since i'm using a new one i have to go to settings okay i have to go to sessions okay and then i have to add a macro here okay so as you can see macro is a sequence of one or more request okay so we have a sequence right so we have to arrange that sequence in this macro then the session handling will uh, automatically do all those steps for you okay so let's add a macro so what are the things you need to select so you need to select post cart which means you are adding something to the cart in this case you are adding product number two which is a gift card okay so you're adding to the cart 
let's keep it in a reverse order so it will be better okay so let's see once you select this then you are going to select uh, next coupon code so this is where you hit on applying the coupon okay so next you need to check out right so you, after applying the coupon you need to uh, place the order okay so you need these two values okay and then uh, you need to apply the gift card okay so you need to go to my account and then apply the gift card okay this is that particular request so this is the sequence of requests okay so try to remember this is the one which you add gift card to the cart okay this is where you apply the coupon code this is where you check out which means you place the order okay once you get the gift card you take the gift card and you apply that particular gift card and uh, get the uh, money back okay right and uh, once you select you click on ok here okay as you can see we got all of these things ready so once you got this let's uh, need to make some small changes okay so let's click on this confirm order thing and uh, you need to configure this item so here where this is just a request so what we need to add is custom parameter okay we need to find a specific thing okay so in this particular thing what we are trying to identify is gift card okay so this is the particular parameter name that we are looking for okay so you'll find that uh, gift card parameter in the request okay so once you do that you already have a response at the bottom okay so as you can see if you scroll down you will see one specific thing okay but as you can see you will see this particular gift card okay so this is the gift card that we got okay gift card code okay so if you scroll down you will be able to see it okay once you do it uh, you select the whole thing okay from end to end so this will actually initiate this particular start expression and end expression okay so once you select that you click on ok right and you also click on ok right here okay and you select the second one which is the gift card you need to apply certain gift card right so you need to take from this request and apply here okay so you select this one so you configure item so you take from previous one okay so you take from you take from this particular request okay you take from this request which means you derive from prior response and uh, and you click on okay okay as you can see this is the gift card parameter right so once you select those things you want to test your macro right so let's test the macro and see what are the steps it is going to take and as you can see we have a new gift card and it is being applied okay all of these things are going perfectly as we expected right so let's click on ok and click on ok here so macro is being set after doing that you need to go to this particular cookie jar okay i think this is optional because we are using an intruder we will select an intruder as well okay so this is just an optional thing okay and uh, here in the session handling rules you need to add something okay so you can take any kind of description here i'm gonna say uh, infinite money okay you can keep anything but i'm just keeping infinite money and here in the scope you need to select certain things okay here you need to select all urls okay once you select that the next one just goes away now coming back to the details tab here you need to add a rule and here you need to run a macro and as you can see we have a macro one thing here okay so this macro one is the one which we have already created okay but if you select edit you will be able to see our macro which is already created okay so you don't need to do anything here okay you can just close it so you have already created a session which handles the macro okay there is nothing else you need to do you just click ok and you click ok okay so once you're done here you can also close this so we are back to our burp proxy http history okay right you can select uh, any one of the request okay so it doesn't matter if you select anything okay 
make sure it is something like a get request because uh, there won't be any interruption okay i'm just selecting my account and sending it to intruder okay right uh, once i send it to intruder i'll just clear everything since this is a get request there won't be anything obviously so you just clear it and uh, what you need to do is once you go to payloads you need to create a null payload which means you are keeping nothing you just want to run the request again and again okay so you can continue indefinitely so it doesn't matter you can keep as many requests as you want okay so here in the resource pool what you need to do is you need to keep one so this one is mandatory because uh, you are sending one request here and uh, rest of the request are done by macro okay so maximum concurrent request is only one until you get the response back the next request won't be going there okay so this is what you need to do right so try to remember we are not selecting anything here okay here also we are saying null payloads which continue indefinitely until i close out okay here resource pool one okay so make sure you keep one so once you do that if you start the attack let's see what happens okay let's click on start attack and as you can see it is taking too much time because one request is being sent and four more requests are being sent by our macro okay that's why it is taking too much time to see that in action you need to go to logger okay so here in the logger you will see all the magic that is being going on okay so select this in reverse order okay so as you can see this is our get my account and after this you will see get cart okay and then get coupon and get checkout and uh, get cart here and then gift again okay and then my account again okay so this will keep on repeating again and again okay this is the interesting thing about macro okay so once you attach one request to the session and you attach the session to a macro okay so this is the process okay so i'm just explaining here so you select one request okay from intruder okay so that request will be attached to a session okay so that session will be attached to a macro okay so macro is group of request that goes in sequence so this is what's going to happen again and again okay so you send one request the one that is attached to the session then then the macro is running okay all the requests will be sent until all the responses come back this next request will not be sent okay so this is how a macro runs and uh, as you can see here it keeps on running we need to check if the money is being uh, coming in or not okay so just reload this and as you can see we already have around 285 dollars let it run for a while okay and uh, we'll see what happens okay we are almost close let's reload once more and we got more than what we needed okay right let's go back i know uh, <laughs> i know that uh, you can have infinite but uh, for the sake of time we just have to close it okay so what we can do is we will go back to the intruder and stop this particular attack okay right so let's just minimize this let's go to home page we have enough money to buy this okay so let's uh, view details add to the cart okay let's select the cart and buy this particular item okay that should solve the lab i hope you get it and i'll see you guys in the next one